is it recording? Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Off you go. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sarah and I make videos about fashion and lifestyle and today I am doing one very highly requested video. I'm gonna show you guys my entire handbag collection. So brace yourselves, it's gonna be a long one. Get some coffee, get some juice, get some apples, whatever you need to be eating. Just get it because I'm telling you this is long. That's one of the reasons why I kind of put off doing it is because I thought it would be so long. I tried to break it up into different designers. I've done a Dior one, I've done Chanel. I've done three on Chanel actually, but you guys want to see the entire thing. Before I do that, I wanted to let you guys know that I have a new uploading schedule. So I upload every Wednesdays and Fridays. So please be sure to come back for more, hit the notification bell, subscribe. I love any kind of interaction that you guys have on my videos. It truly means the world to me and I would be so appreciative. So okay, let's go. Let's get into the video. By the way, I'm just going to be doing this in like a very haphazard way. This is not like a chronological order or by color code or anything. That's not happening. I'm literally just going to start picking them out. I have to show you, this is like the worst way to like leave all my bags. I have like one bag and then I have, basically I have bags in bags in bags. Let's start off with this Chanel backpack. This is one of my favorite classic Chanel bags. It was an impulse purchase, but I'm very happy that I got it because I haven't seen very many people have it. I do tend to collect bags that are more rare. I love that it has the two-toned chains on it so it's like this very light gray brushed metal and then this dull gold. It's a classic neutral bag. I wear it either as a backpack or I have carried it as a top handle like that looks very nice so on the top it's a little bit relaxed but on the bottom it's structured it's perfect to dress up and down love this little backpack the next bag is this gorgeous Chloe bag. I feel like it would be so cute with what I'm wearing right now, actually. I love this chain. I know when Chloe bags first came out, they weren't like very, I don't know. I feel like they all had the same design. They all looked the same, so I never bought it. And then I saw this one and I love this chain on it. It's so unique. It's gorgeous in person. I love the gold hardware on it. I don't know if it's translating on camera. It's not fully white. It's definitely an off-white bag and I really, really love this. This is so gorgeous. I have worn it like a little clutch like this, but then obviously as a top handle too. And I feel like people are wearing bags more as top handles to kind of give that vintage vibe. Love this one. This is gorgeous. I'm also very proud that I have not put a single stain on this bag. Moving on to this beautiful Chanel white classic bag. It's vintage. I found it in Amsterdam. I was so happy to have found it. I was on the hunt for a white classic Chanel bag with gold hardware for the longest time and if you've tried to look for them in the States you know how rare a white Chanel handbag with gold hardware and like a classic shape is to find so I was very happy when I found this in Amsterdam at a vintage store I paid a fraction of the price for what I would have paid for it brand new and I was so happy I have worn this on multiple occasions with multiple different outfits and again it will never go out of style so this bag is the Valentino Rockstud bag. I honestly have not worn this very much because I feel like rock studs are not trendy anymore. So it kind of just sits there in my closet and it's a off-white color. It's silver hardware. You'll see from most of my bags that I am not a fan of silver hardware. I would rather have gold. I just think it just looks so much more luxurious. I would probably try to sell it at some point, but for now it's just in my closet. This was probably one of the bags I regretted getting to be honest with you. Actually that was probably the only bag I regret getting. Moving on to this cute little Bottega clutch that I got from Italy. I was in Italy in February just before corona hit and when I came back basically everyone in the world had corona so I'm very very happy that I dodged that bullet but I did get this little Bottega from my trip to Italy and I love it so much. I've had my eye on Bottega for such a long time. Their pieces are classic. They have this beautiful texture. They look really beautiful high design. They are just gorgeous. They're like 
understated but elegant you know what i mean and this is such a stunning bag it's in this shade called a crew which is like an eggshell white and i really really love this it's such a gorgeous bag i put all my um packaging in all of my bags because i like for them to maintain the structure so i never take out that plastic bit i feel like that's what really holds the shape of bags over time just a little tip for you guys but uh, you can wear it as a crossbody very long strap which you can adjust you could even wear it as a shoulder bag because the strap is adjustable i've never worn it as a shoulder bag and i don't think i will ever wear it as a shoulder bag but i really love carrying it like a little clutch it's so cute it's like a little cloud in my hands love it now since i got rid of all the bags and my dior tote i can show you guys my dior tote i have purchased this bag so I purchased it one time and then I returned it and I purchased it again I just couldn't get it out of my mind I thought at first I don't want to spend the money on getting such a big bag that I won't be using and then I couldn't live without it and then I bought it again and I haven't looked back since then it is a beautiful bag I use this mostly to travel or if I'm going on a weekend somewhere and I need to just throw a bunch of stuff in there because it doesn't have a zip and it's just one big compartment so I'm sure you can buy buy some kind of organizer for it. I actually carry this sometimes with my little Dior saddle bag. Hold on one second. I'm going to show you guys what they look like together because they look beautiful. I just have to find it. So this is my little Dior saddle. I love this color. When I was buying it, Rami said it looked like a kidney, but I frankly love it. It's such a beautiful rich red and I can wear this in the fall and winter with so many different outfits. It just makes any outfit look really luxurious. And if you guys are a fan of Dior saddle bags you know that they are such an iconic bag and i love the size of this the only thing is you cannot fit a lot into it so you have to use it essentially as an evening bag or throw like the bare necessities into it which i'm totally fine with because nowadays i prefer to have smaller bags than uh larger bags so i wanted to show you guys these two together you will probably won't be able to see me because as I'm demonstrating, this bag is huge. So when I'm on the set here, there we go. Now you can see. Hello. Maybe I should shoot all my YouTube videos like this. So this is <laughs> so funny, but you know, whatever. We're going to roll with it. Uh, this is what it looks like when you put the saddle bag onto the tote. It actually looks really cute when you carry it together. I love carrying both of these to the airport together. I carry my bare necessities in here and then everything else in here. And I think they both look really cute together. We're gonna do Prada next. I really love this bag. This is so cute. It's my only baby pink bag and it's so classic. I really love it with the top handle too when you wear it on your shoulders rather than carrying it as a top handle. I feel like nowadays a lot of people are into the vintage vibes where you carry it as a top handle but I really like this bag because it comes with a long strap and I've worn it as a crossbody as a shoulder bag and a top handle I love the color it's such a classic Prada shape as you guys know so I love this one this is a bag I never talk about it's my Bulgari it's like this really beautiful patent leather that's been treated to be really shiny it almost looks like gunmetal it's just stunning in real life and then the head of the serpent is white black and he has green eyes you can carry this on the shoulder or as a crossbody and i love this one it's an evening bag i don't obviously wear this in the daytime because it's so bright and flashy but this is so beautiful with anything evening that you might be doing obviously because of covid we are not so i don't really make much use of this bag but i still love it dearly moving on to this beautiful beautiful Gucci bag. This one has sentimental value to me because Rami for my 30th birthday took me to Italy and he treated me like a princess. Essentially, he bought me a lot of things um, for my birthday that year. And then this was one of them, this gorgeous Gucci chevron print. I love this. It is stunning in real life. It's such a statement bag. It's so beautiful because of the design. And then the black, white, and gold are such a classic. If I have one bag that is really my aesthetic this is it it's 
just so beautiful. If you know about my home, essentially everything is black, white, and gold. And I also really like that it has like a little heart in the back. I haven't seen very many people carry this bag either, so I'm very happy to have gotten it. Again, the straps are long enough to carry as a shoulder bag, as a crossbody, and as a top handle. I really like that it has this beautiful hot pink lining. It's just so pretty. I really need to carry this bag more often. I don't know why I don't. And now to one of my most beautiful cherished bags, my Chanel Classic. Oh, I love this one so much. I've actually made a video about this comparing the classic Chanel to the boy Chanel. And this has to be obviously one of my favorite all time bags. This was on my wish list for the longest time. I never thought that I'd be able to find our classic flap Chanel handbag with gold hardware in the US. And when I found it, I immediately had to get it. This is in the medium size and I think it's perfect for my body. The straps are a little too short to wear as a proper crossbody, but I feel like nowadays you can pull anything off because people are wearing those like the diagonal uh, fanny pack bags. I don't really know what they're called, but you know what I mean. So it kind of looks cute that way too. And I've worn this so many times with so many different outfits. This is obviously such an OG classic and I'm so happy to own it. I also love that it's in caviar leather and it just is is a stunning, stunning bag. One of my other favorites is this beautiful mini Chanel bag. This is navy blue with silver hardware. This is probably the only silver hardware bag that I don't mind owning. I wear this in the summer all the time. This is in calf skin, so it's a smoother leather. It is so beautiful. I've worn this as a crossbody. This strap, for uh, some reason, is the perfect length for a crossbody, but not the classic. But I guess they have to keep the classic more classic. <laughs> but this one is just a gorgeous bag. I haven't seen very many people have this color either and it just makes me so happy to have this one in my collection because I make a lot of good use out of this bag in the summertime. You guys, this was my very first Chanel bag and I treasure this so much. It is so rare. Never have I seen this ever on the internet, even anybody carrying it, which makes me so happy. I kind of bought it on a whim. I had been saving up for a Chanel bag for like two years at this point but when I went to the Chanel store and I saw this one I actually went to get a classic one but when I saw this one I had to have it and I'm so happy that I got it I don't think that this translates very well on camera but it's this beautiful pastel lilac perfect for spring and summer I love the weaving on the top because a lot of boy Chanel's don't have the weaving they just have like the little the embossed diagonal pattern you know what I'm talking about but this is so stunning. And then this is also perfect as a crossbody and a shoulder bag. Absolutely love this one. I did a comparison between this lilac bag and the classic bag, and I have a video for it. I'll put a card for you guys if you wanna watch it. I am comparing both of these bags to tell you what's up and which one you should purchase. This Prada handbag is one of my favorites. I was talking to a childhood friend of mine uh, last week and she was like, I don't understand this Prada bag, but I love it so much. It's so unique, don't you guys think? I was actually hunting for it for a year and a half before I found it in Italy. There was one in all of Milan at their flagship store. It never hurts to ask, honestly, because I found my black Chanel bag the same way. I just went into Neiman Marcus and I was asking the lady randomly if she had it and she did. It's just so unique and I still think that even though it is a heart shaped bag, it's very classic. It's very very spacious as well so if you guys want me to do a review of this, I'm happy to do it. Let me know in the comments down below actually what uh, bags you want in depth reviews of because I'm happy to do them and if you enjoy like comparing two bags, happy to do that too. Just let me know in the comments. I will definitely get to everyone's video ideas eventually but just write them down for me so I know what you guys are looking for. This bag is another favorite of mine because even though it looks small, it is so spacious because it has the accordion shape. It really just expands. You can hold so much stuff in this bag. It's un 
real. I actually once took this on a vacation as my sole handbag because I wanted to be very minimalist on that trip and I didn't want to worry about carrying 10,000 bags or whatever with me. And this bag served its purpose. You can wear it in the daytime and the nighttime. You can essentially carry everything in the world in this bag, at least for me. I don't like to carry 5,000 things in my handbag. So when I do carry stuff in my handbag, I like to be as functional and practical as possible. So everything that I wanted to fit into this bag actually more could have fit into this bag but I was very very happy with taking just this the strap is long enough that you can wear it as a crossbody and it's perfect you can carry it as a top handle the top handle looks kind of like a briefcase ish it's got like a very formal look to it but when you wear it as a crossbody it's definitely more relaxed and I love the two tones of the leather because it just adds a little bit more character into it as far as I remember on the original ones that were all the one leather I think this piece is like a very very light beige leather but I do prefer having this piece as the same color on these bags I'm not sure if these ones are still in production but if you're looking for a pochette you should definitely get these because they hold so much I had a fight with an old lady in Paris over this bag I'm not even gonna try to hide it I did and it was her fault I'll tell you why because because I went into the Chantelise store and I saw this bag and immediately I was like I need to buy this bag now I was holding it and I put it on and I was looking at it in the mirror and I was like yes yes this is the bag I need but they didn't have any staff to help me out at that time so I essentially put this bag down on the counter and I turn around and I was just looking for maybe 30 seconds to find somebody to help me so I could purchase the bag and then I turn back around and this lady has taken the bag she's taken this bag from behind my back and she's running to her sales rep to let her purchase it and I was livid I was just like this is not okay like you cannot be doing this I complained and I was able to get this bag I'm so happy I got it they said there was one in Paris when I got it so this bag is very dear to me I love that it comes with an additional chain so you can carry it as a crossbody it's a gorgeous textured chain which I love however I have mostly carried this as a top handle and when I don't feel like carrying it is the only time I put on the crossbody chain to just strap it around my body but honestly you guys this is one stunning bag and I would fight another old lady for it if I had to no shame <laughs> We're almost there guys, we're almost there. The next bag is this Louis Vuitton bag. My dad bought this for me as a graduation present when I finished my MBA. So this bag also has sentimental value. It was one of my very, very first designer bags. And I love the structure of this bag. I still think it's such a classic. This is the epi leather, so it's textured. When I first started buying bags, I didn't want logos all over them. And I really wanted to collect like pieces that were classic this one essentially looks like luggage and I really love the structure of it it's really stunning it just makes any outfit look really sophisticated love this one thank dad the Celine Nano is by far my most used bag you can see it's kind of losing its shape because I have all of my stuff in it literally there's so much stuff in this right now. It's mostly hand sanitizer and face mask at this point, but this bag too, I was shocked at how much this bag can carry in this one tiny little compartment. This is one of the most practical bags I have ever owned. One of my friends recently asked me if she should purchase a Celine Nano and I said, absolutely 100% you must because this is my most used bag to date. I love the olive green color and the gold hardware and it's very comfortable to carry as a crossbody. Here is another Celine bag that I don't carry as often but I love so much. I honestly don't carry this very often because it is a pretty large bag against my body and you can only carry this as a top handle but I love the colors on this. They are 
classic colors, olive green, the black and white leather, and then the texture between the suede and the black and white is just stunning in real life. And I love the gold hardware. It is a really, really beautiful bag. On the back, it's plain. I think I need to bring this bag back because I really love it. The only thing is because I can only carry this as a top handle, it needs to be on certain occasions. So I can't really take this out when I'm going out at night because just carrying it around as a top handle would get kind of annoying. Like, I don't, who wants to be doing that all night, you know? So that's the only reason why I don't carry it, but I love this bag so much. We only have two more bags remaining and they are larger bags. This is such a classic Prada bag. I love the color and the gold hardware. When I first saw it, I immediately fell in love with this bag because it's so beautiful. I have stuffed it with a lot of paper. They are very heavy, so like this leather around here gets kind of droopy over time and you can see from mine. If I didn't have the paper holding its structure, it would probably get a little bit droopy. I know that they do uh, sell like some kind of structuring devices on Amazon that you can put in these bags so that they maintain their shape, especially on the bottom. You can buy something sturdy like a plastic rectangular piece that fits on the bottom of this base so that when you carry stuff in it that the leather doesn't start drooping because I've heard from very many people that that happens, especially if people use this as a work bag to carry their laptops, etc. If you do have this Prada bag, I would suggest that you get those restructuring devices. But I really love Love this bag like I said I don't carry it as often I have carried my laptop in this whenever I'm going to a coffee shop for example I love taking this bag because it fits a lot of stuff in it and I can fit my laptop in it very easily so whenever I'm working outside of the house I like to take this although I will say that this bag in general is very heavy and you can only carry it as a top handle so the bag already has a lot of weight plus you put your laptop in it it's not fun to carry around for a long time However, I would never get rid of this bag. Love it. Here we go, guys. This is the last bag, the Louis Vuitton Never Full. I did not want to get the same monogram one that everybody has, so I chose the Epi Leather, and then I bought this beautiful chain to go along with it, just to give it a little bit more character, because otherwise it just looks like a plain black bag. But I love this. I've taken this on so many trips. It's perfect for traveling, because you can easily just have this sit on your carry-on. Again, one thing with this particular Neverfull, the Epi Leather one, is that the shoulder straps aren't long enough. Enough. So if you have a lot of stuff in your bag, it can get quite uncomfortable on the shoulders and then otherwise you need to carry it on your on your elbow. But I mean, that doesn't make sense when you're in the airport trying to like walk miles to your plane, like you're not trying to walk like this forever. So in that situation, it is a little bit impractical if you're not taking this um, on top of your carry on. However, it does fit so many things. I'm sure you guys have seen multiple reviews on YouTube talking about those never full organizers. I need to have everything organized in my bag, but obviously you can do it without. But I have heard that those organizers are very useful to have if you do have a never full. I think that does it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this ginormous handbag collection video. I know you guys really wanted it. This is all designer bags. I do have some non-designer bags too. I know I feel like I'm a bag lady at this point but it is what it is. I'm not gonna hide it. I'm a bag lady guys. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to hit the subscribe button to hit the notification bell. I'm uploading two videos every single week and I would love to see you guys back here. Thank you to everybody who subscribes to my channel already. I appreciate your support so much. I am still a younger channel on YouTube, so any kind of interaction that you have with my video truly helps me out, and for that I would be forever grateful. Again, like I said, if you have any video suggestions, please leave them down in the comments down below. Let me know what are your favorite bags, if you want to see any reviews, any of that stuff, I'd be happy to do that for you. I will see you guys next Friday with a brand new video. Take care. Mwah.